Good morning, and welcome to Good Morning Christmas Tree. Do you mean Good Morning Teasley? Are you sure? Yeah, pretty sure it's Good Morning Teasley. And we're live at 835. I'm Ella. And I'm Lynn, I think. We'll be your hosts today. Today is Monday, December 19th. Yes, it is. This week's word of the week is self-confidence. Self-confidence is having a positive attitude about trust and trust in oneself, having a sense of security and self-assurance. We are a non-block schedule this week. Now, now let's head over to Cole and Whitney for today's pledge and weather. That's my line. Oh yeah. Thanks guys. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Hey, cool. What's the weather today? Our high today will be 50 degrees with partly cloudy skies and a 3% chance of rain this evening. So, probably not much of a chance of rain, but with Georgia weather, anything can happen. So. Back to you guys. For today's, for today's lunch, you have a choice of chicken parmesan, sandwich, or corn dog bites. For tomorrow's lunch, we will have orange chicken or pizza. I like pizza. Pizza's good. Yeah. Yeah. Our lost and found is getting out of hand. Jackets, sweatshirts, lunch boxes, and water bottles. It's on the far left side of the stage in the cafeteria. Please do not place lost items on the floor in the cafeteria. Please remind students to check lost and found. We will be no donating everything this week. Everything. 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 The Unite School store will be closed for the remainder of the semester. The Unite store will remain open t on Tuesday, January 17th with new inventory. The talent show is coming up. It will be on February 13th and tryouts are on January 11th after school in the cafeteria. It's $5 to audition and permission forms are Mrs. Silka's room, room 1312. 1312. Spirit of the Season collections are happening every Thursday th through this Wednesday, December 21st, as we gear up for our Spirit of the Season assembly on this Thursday, December 22nd. Do you mean the Spirit of the Season collections are happening every day? Yes. Every day. Every day. Canned food goods, new toys, and gift cards. All of these items will be brought in together in a happy fun-filled assembly in December this Thursday. For each of the items that you bring in, your ELT will earn points. Bring those items and participate with all of the fun festivities that accompany Spirit of the Season. Teachers, remember to have your collection boxes in the hallway for pickup by 9.15 each morning. Thank you. Thank you. Today is December 19th, and here's what happened today in history. 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 I said it right. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. December 19th, 1154, King Henry II of England is crowned King of England. 1686, according to Daniel Defoe's famous novel, Robinson Crusoe leaves his island after 28 years. 1795, Kentucky becomes the first state to set aside money for the building of roads. 1823, Georgia passes the first U.S. state birth registration law. 1842, the United States recognizes the independence of the nation of Hawaii. 1843, A Christmas Carol, a book written by Charles Dickens, is published and over 6,000 copies are sold. 1918, Robert Ripley begins his Believe It or Not column in the New York Globe. 1941, 
Adolf Hitler takes complete command of the German army. 1958, President Dwight D. Eisenhower delivers a Christmas message to all mankind, America's wish for peace on earth and goodwill to men. Difference in this speech and all of his others is that this is the first radio broadcast from space. 1971, CBS airs a movie, Homecoming, A Christmas Story, and introduces the world to a family known as the Waltons. 1980, the comedy film 9 to 5, starring Dolly Parton, Jane Fonda, and Lily Tomlin, is released in theaters across the world. 1989, Larry Bird of the Celtics begins an NBA free throw streak that would last for 71 games. 1998, the U.S. House of Representatives votes to impeach President Bill Clinton, forwarding the articles of impeachment to the Senate for a trial. 2018, the first use of a drone to deliver vaccines takes place as medicine is delivered to the island of Aromango Vanatois by UNICEF. These are just a few of the things that have happened today, December 19th in history. This has been Mr. Scott with Today in History. Thanks for watching. All right, good morning, Teasley. Welcome back. I'm Mr. Reese. This is Miss McCowan. And we're here for Raider Reflection, and we're here to draw some Raider shout-outs. Miss McCowan, would you like to draw our first one? Yes, I would. Thank you. All right, so let's see... All right, so first, I think it's pronounced Zara Paleco Lopez from Miss Nolan's class, sixth grade. All right. If, when we call your name, if you would come on up to room 2301 to my room and get your prizes. Our second winner this morning, Liliana Ortez from Miss Lipcomb's homeroom. And we have Taylor Brooks from Miss Walker's room, seventh grade. And finally, Noe Massino from Miss Bryant's homeroom. All right. We appreciate your behaviors and what it takes for you to be put into the Raider shout out box. If you would come up to 2301 and gather your prizes. Congratulations. For your rate of reflection today, what I want you to think about is over the next couple of weeks, you're going to have a lot of time with family and friends outside of school. I want you to give me three different ways that you can make a difference in a positive manner over the next couple of weeks. Three different ways that you can make a difference in a positive manner over the next couple of weeks. And while you're thinking about that, we want to share a couple of videos from former Raiders about their thoughts on Spirit of the Season. Remember, Raiders, we love you and we're glad you're here. Bye. Hello, Raiders. I have the winners. The first three Raiders who are going to check out the brand new copies of Diver Wimpy Kid, Diaper Overload, and the winners are Alex Ramos, Preston Cobb, and Kaylin Carpenter. So congratulations. Um, these three students answered all of the questions correctly. So the first question was who made Greg start his diary? And it was his mom. Uh, what's the name of Rally's comic? It was Zooey Mama. Who is the author of A Diary of Wimpy Kid was question three. That's Jeff Kinney. And question four tripped a lot of people up. Where did the author grow up? It was Fort Washington, Maryland. I had a lot of people say Washington, D.C., and I'm not sure, but Fort Washington, Maryland. So congratulations to these three students. And not only do you get to be the first to check them out, but I will be ordering you your very own copy of this book. So congratulations. See y'all next challenge. And drop. Your soda can tabs at room 1321-2410. Go Teasley 4-H.
Hello, Teasley. My name is Rhonda Edge, and I was blessed to teach there for 19 years. I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed and was so proud to be a member of the Raider family, but never so much as I was during Spirit of the Season. The Teasley family of students, teachers, parents, and community, as well as staff, always pulled together and showed their servants' hearts. And it was wonderful to share and see the joy and excitement brought on by all of the festivities, the songs, the dances, the skits, Mr. and Mrs. Claus, the elves, but most of all, the loving and giving. And at this time, I want to say thank you. I'm so proud to still be part of the Raider Nation. And I am so happy to see that this incredible tradition continues. Merry Christmas to you all. Hey, I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Sierra. Um, we went to Teasley in 2014 and 2015, and now we're just a few months out from graduating at the University of Georgia. Some of our favorite memories of our two years at Teasley involved Spirit of the Season. It was a great way for the school to come together and show the true meaning of Christmas. It was awesome to see everyone's enthusiasm for giving back to the community and putting others before themselves. And um, even now, Spirit of the Season is something that has had a lasting impact on both of us, and we're so grateful to have been a part of it. Hi, my name is Garrett Mayo. I went to Teasley from 2013 to 2015. And I'm Kelly Mayo, and I was in 8th grade in 2018. The reason the spirit of the season has always been special to me is because in the hectic world of middle school, it's easy to forget that all the people around you make up one great big Teasley community. And spirit of the season always brought the school together and made it feel like family for a day, even if it was just for a day. And it was always a big part of building a kindred spirit throughout the school. I think the reason that Spirit of the Seasons is so important is because it allows students to come together as a community and helps us remember that the spirit of Christmas is not about receiving, but giving back to others. My favorite memory of Spirit of the Seasons is when I was in eighth grade, the boys and girls basketball teams, we all paired up and me and a girl named Coriana got to dance together. It was a lot of fun. My favorite memory of Spirit of the Seasons is getting to perform in front of all my friends and family. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.